To make an electric guitar, the first thing that came to my mind is do you want this very rigid, very rugged, very massive? Do you want this thing to sustain? Or would you like to make it where it was soft and had all the personality of a Stradivarius? Well, just what do you want to do with this electric guitar? So I picture a string and I say, well, tell you what I'm going to do. And so I got the six kids, uh, the five myself, to borrow a wagon. And there was no horse with this wagon, so we just took the wagon over to the railroad track, took a piece of railroad track that they had cut out, maybe two feet long. And we took this piece of railroad track, put it on the wagon, and took it over to the backyard, and took the wagon back where we stole it, or borrowed it from. and. Uh, then I strung, put a string with, with uh, two spikes and put that string there and then I had to find a way of reproducing the sound on the string. So it was very simple. It was the other half of the telephone. And so instead of the ear, the earpiece with the diaphragm, I just peeled the diaphragm off and stuck that under the strings and lo and behold, I got a pickup. So I place it under the string, but it's going to go under two experiments. One was going to be the steel railroad track with the, with the spikes. The other one was going to be a piece of pine wood. And what's interesting about it is that the pine piece of wood just rolled over and died. And the railroad track come through with flying colors. So I ran to my mother and I said, Mom, I've got it, I've got it. She says, you solved the problem? Yep. I says, it's this piece of railroad track I got. And my mother says, the day you see a cowboy on a horse with a piece of railroad track, right? And <laughs> where are you gonna plug it in? <laughs> oh boy, did she shoot me down. And so that was, that was my problem. The steel railroad track was the way to go, but the piece of wood is where I'd have to go. And, and this time I took a four by four piece of wood, put a neck on it, and when I got it all built, this was in New York in 1941, and I put the thing together, and I said, I'm going to try this out, and I went to Sunnyside, Gladys's was the name of the little tavern. And I went in there and I played with a group in there, this four by four log. And they looked at me like I was nuts. Uh, they, I, there was no applause. And they just thought I, I was strange. It was some sort of a joke or something, but uh, not very laughable, you know, not, not too funny. And so I went home. I guess it sounded great, but uh, the response wasn't. So I thought about it, and I said, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put some sides on it like a regular guitar. I did. So I made the two sides for the guitar, clamped them on to the log, uh, to the 4 by 4 log. Went back on a Saturday night, same place. Played the same song, The Sheik. And the place went up, went crazy. So I said, well, I guess the secret to that is, is that people hear with their eyes. If it don't look good, it don't sound good. I guess that's what it is. So I made this thing, by the way, at Epiphone on 14th Street in New York. And I made it on a Sunday because there was nobody there and I could run the machinery and the night watchman was there and he'd show me where the parts are and everything. And Epiphone was glad to see what I had on my mind. But they didn't think anything of it. When I built it and everything else, it looked like a turkey. I don't know why we pick on a turkey. A turkey isn't all that bad. 
So what happened, it's funny, is that I took this thing to, to the Gibson people, and they gave me, yeah, 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 and 10 years go by. I keep shoving this under their arm, I keep under their face. I, sh I, I keep feeding them this, this thing, that it's a, it's a good idea. And Gibson uh, does not respond to it. And it was 10 years later that Gibson calls me and says, would you bring that thing in? We want to look at it again. Okay, and by this time, I have now thought of many refinements to the log. The log was just a matter of presenting the idea that this is what it should do. You don't have to have a piece of railroad track to make a guitar, but it has to be something that will cause it to sustain and da 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 da. And so what happened with the log is that they said, we'll go with it. And when we went with it, the Les Paul guitar really took off. Then the president came to me and he says, Les, I want to tell you something. And he's almost laughing when he told me. He says, this is something you don't know. But he said, for 10 years, we looked at that log that you brought us. And we tagged the name on you. You're the character with the broomstick with the pickups on it. And for 10 years, that's what they called him, the broomstick with the pickups on it, with that Les Paul with his crazy idea. We laughed at you, we're not laughing now. He says, we're eating good. <laughs>